let's start with the caster. This is the caster and it uses these little brass spacers just to make it stand a little bit further away from the chassis so it's the same at the whole chassis level when the larger wheels are put on as well. So we have these uh, little spacers that um, fit underneath the hole and then you just need to attach a screw to hold that into place. So let's just put the last one of those on this side. You can just um, put your finger over there, press it down hard and then just twiddle these up and you can do it quite tightly by hand. Let's just go and tighten all that up. Probably need to tighten them up a few times and uh, if you really want to get a tight fit then get a screwdriver in one end and hold the other end with a pair of pliers. Okay so the next step is to attach that to the chassis. So here's the chassis and you want to get it the right way up so that the writing is on the top side of it and you find the holes here for it and then just simply a matter of getting the little bolts that fit in there and then attaching all of those. There's a little bit of play in the spaces to get them into the right position. You might have to push them, pull them a bit just to get them to line up properly. Don't tighten these screws up too tightly or they'll crack the plastic. So just enough, tight enough to hold it firmly but uh, not so tight that it causes any damage. Okay, so there we go, that's the caster attached. The next thing to do is to attach the battery box, which actually goes on the underside of the board, so on the same side as the caster. And there's two screw holes to uh, keep this in place, like that and you need to make sure that the head of the screws is actually on the battery side because if you put the nuts on that side it, the battery won't fit in properly so push a screw through like that and then put a nut over it and then the same for the other one Okay, now let's sort out the gear motors. So these are held onto the chassis by these little metal brackets that have holes in one end. And you need to set the uh, first wheel up like this. And um, it doesn't really matter which way these screws go, but uh, I tend to put the long screws in from the outside of the motor which is the side where the wheel is going to fit on. So one goes like that, top, and one goes through the hole down there. Okay, and then we need to put these nuts on. You'll need to do the same thing with the other motor and it's actually going to be a mirror image of this one. So when you come to do this motor you want it to have the holes, remember which side the holes go, so they, the two motors are actually going to be like this when you've finished. Let's start attaching the motors now. So the motors go with the wire end back towards the battery box and the caster. It's easiest if you push the wires through first before you try and attach the motor. So we'll push that through like that and then the uh, screws are going to fit through those little holes. There's not an awful lot of room, it's, it's quite a close fit, uh, but it does mean that the battery box sort of holds the wires in place and stops them flexing so much which means that they won't come unsoldered. So let's uh, do that up. 
again don't do the screws up so tightly that you crack the plastic the holes in the chassis are actually a bit bigger than they need to be for the screws which does allow a bit of play so that you can nudge things backwards and forwards a bit so that they fit well okay so that's one and then the other one is just a mirror image of that so again thread the wires through first this time going through this hole here and then the screws will go in there it's easiest if you put one screw in first and then uh, then you can adjust the position a bit for the other one to get these to line up there we go uh, don't force the uh, the, the, uh, the screws in if they don't go in properly try actually turning them the other way a little bit first until they find the thread uh, don't don't force them or you will just thread the screws uh, and then we can um, well we won't put the wheels on just yet because it's easier to get the Raspberry Pi on without them there Okay, let's now attach the Raspberry Pi to the chassis. And again, this uses four screws, but they're a slightly different size to the other screws. They're a bit longer and they're a bit thinner. And that's just because the mounting holes on the Raspberry Pi are a little bit thinner than the ones that we're using on the rest of the chassis. Uh, they're gonna fit, it's gonna fit like that with the USB ports towards the rear, and towards the caster. And there are these, we have these little washers that are cut from the same acrylic as the chassis. And um, if you want to use them, uh, they're a little bit fiddly to put on, but um, they do mean that the Raspberry Pi stands away from the plastic of the chassis a bit. It just makes it a bit neater. Um, it's a bit, so I would put the washers on over the holes first. Then carefully, without trying, to, without trying not to move anything, put the Raspberry Pi on like that and then drop the screws through the holes hopefully it all stays lined up if not you can wiggle them about a bit and the last one Okay, and then you have the tricky bit of um, actually getting the screws onto the bottom. This is where you really need to uh, be quite dexterous. So if you can get a finger positioned over each of the screws and then flip it over and then get each of the nuts just on somewhere so they're not falling off. These ones down this end are a little bit tricky. Hooray, got it. Okay, now once you've got them basically in place, you can hold on to the nut with your fingers and do up the screws from the top side. One, two. got little fingers it does help with this okay so there we have have it we have, we've got the Raspberry Pi in place the next step is to attach the wires to the Raspberry Robot board and um, 
The motors go to the two screw terminals marked L and R for left and right and you just poke the wire into the hole and do up the uh, screw. You'll need to undo the screws first before you start poking the wires in of course. When you come to this side um, make sure you know which wires are which these ones are the ones to the battery box so these are the motor ones uh, and again do the, the black one first so make sure that the um, metal part of the wire is properly into the into the terminal Finally, attach the battery connections. Don't put the batteries in just yet. So again, the black one goes on that side. And on. 